Welcome to the Center for Advanced Reproductive Services at the University of Connecticut Health Center. This video focuses on the process of egg retrieval during in vitro fertilization. At the Center for Advanced Reproductive Services, our sole focus is in providing the highest standard of individualized clinical care to people experiencing infertility in an environment that is caring, sensitive, responsive, and knowledgeable. We understand the emotional and health care needs of infertile couples, and we focus on what they want most, a baby. We have expertise in the latest technologies and treatments in infertility. We also offer the compassion and support services that will help couples cope with these special emotional needs in dealing with fertility problems. Our highly trained, compassionate staff will help each step of the way, and we'll start by giving couples the hope, support, and medical care they need to conceive. This video is one small part of an ongoing educational series that we hope will help to educate and inform you about the IVF process. The egg retrieval is performed under ultrasound guidance using an internal or a transvaginal ultrasound probe which is placed in the vagina. The egg retrieval procedure is performed with anesthesia called IV sedation which is administered by a licensed anesthesiologist. Patients are given medication through an intravenous line that helps them to fall asleep for this brief procedure. Care is taken to ensure that patients are very comfortable prior to the beginning of the procedure. It's typically painless. After the procedure, cramping may be experienced, but is typically mild and brief. Patients are given pain medication in the procedure room to minimize pain and cramping. All of the egg retrieval and embryo transfer procedures are performed in our Farmington office. The procedure room is located adjacent to our embryology lab. The embryology lab has specialized equipment for the eggs, sperm, and embryos. Personnel with highly specialized training, called embryologists, handle the eggs, sperm, and embryos in the lab and work under microscopes to do so. During the egg retrieval procedure, the follicles are visualized on the ultrasound screen and a thin needle is slowly advanced into each follicle. The fluid in the follicle and the egg are aspirated and collected into small test tubes. The photograph on the left side of the screen shows an ultrasound of an ovary with follicles during an egg retrieval procedure. The diagram on the right side of the screen shows a close-up picture of a needle inside of a follicle in the ovary. In this picture, the egg and the surrounding follicular fluid are being aspirated. The photograph on the left shows a test tube containing follicular fluid and eggs. The photograph in the middle shows an embryologist looking at the fluid under the microscope and identifying the eggs in this fluid and counting them. The photograph on the right side of the screen shows what an egg looks like under the microscope. The egg is the round structure in the middle of the picture. The egg is surrounded by many small cells called cumulus cells that support and nourish it. The eggs are placed in petri dishes and kept warm in an incubator until they're fertilized later that day. The egg retrieval procedure is generally considered to be a very safe and easy procedure. The risk of complications is very small and is estimated to be less than 1%. With any procedure, however, there are always risks. The most common problems that may be experienced after this procedure are bleeding and infection. There's also a very small risk of damage to organs. The risks of the procedure are minimized by the use of ultrasound to guide the needle into the ovaries. If bleeding does occur, it's usually mild and self-limited and does not require any special treatment. It's very rare to have excessive bleeding that requires a hospital stay, blood transfusion, or surgery. The risk of infection is minimized by using sterile technique and sterile equipment in the procedure room and by giving patients an antibiotic prior to the procedure. One of the most common questions that patients ask regarding the egg retrieval procedure is how many eggs and embryos will I have? The average number of eggs retrieved is approximately 8 to 10. This means that some patients will have fewer than 8 eggs, while others will have more than 10. Several factors contribute to the number of eggs that are obtained. An important factor is the age of the woman, as the number of eggs obtained is age-dependent. In general, younger women tend to get more eggs than older patients do, but this isn't always the case. In addition, a woman's response to the medications is a factor. It's important to recognize that while many large follicles will often contain a mature egg, not every follicle will yield an egg at retrieval. Approximately 60 to 70 percent of mature eggs typically fertilize when exposed to sperm. 
It's very rare for a patient to have no eggs fertilize. This happens less than 1% of the time. Prior to leaving the office after the egg retrieval procedure, a patient will be given information regarding the number of eggs that were retrieved. The day after the egg retrieval will let you know the fertilization results. In order to achieve a successful pregnancy with IVF, there are some steps that are critical to the process. These are having a good response to the ovulation induction medication, successful fertilization, healthy embryos for transfer, a positive pregnancy test, appropriately increasing levels of pregnancy hormone, and confirmation of a pregnancy in the uterus with a fetal heartbeat on ultrasound. At the center, we hope that each and every one of our patients has success, and we do our very best to achieve that goal. The Center for Advanced Reproductive Services is dedicated to advanced infertility treatment through the combined application of high-quality patient care, clinical education, and research. At the center, we strive for excellence in patient satisfaction and clinical outcomes in a responsibly managed environment. Learn more about us at UConnFertility.com or call us at 860-679-4580.